Some people are afraid the con would be disappointing. I personally don't think so. There was a lot of build up to this. I don't think LEGO would disappoint us after so much build up and high hype. I think the gunship and three Mando sets would be revealed for Star Wars, which is what the fans want. And overall, I don't think the event is gonna be bad or disappointing. I have hope. Pause. This was me a few days ago before the LEGO Con. And little did I know, this would be the biggest regret of my life. But guys, before we take a look at the con, um, if you have not watched it yet, I would recommend not clicking off. You you probably thought I'd say click off because there are spoilers. No, uh, just do not click off. Like, if you watch the con, you're gonna be disturbed, like fucking disturbed for the rest of your life. So... If you don't want that happen, just watch this video. Or if you really want to, and you want your sleep paralysis demon to be the Lego Con, you can just go watch it and then come back to this video. Either way, I've warned you. So now, with that being said, let's get into it. Alright, so I did a poll on my account, on my news account. And asked what the title should be, and the winner, like the title, the winner was LegoCon Pure Disappointment. So in this video, we're gonna talk about not just why it was disappointing for like actual Lego fans and collectors, but why it was just bad overall, and it was pretty cringy. So l let's get right into it. It started off by a 20 minute long, like preview, pre show, whatever you call it. It was 20 minutes. It's like a fall community, whatever. It talked about like photography and, you know, stop motion and stuff like that. And, you know, the guy was always like, oh, there's only 20 minutes left. We're moments away. No, it's it's twenty minutes. Like it's not just moments. So it like just shut up. That got me so mad. We're we're sixteen minutes. There's sixteen minutes left, and he's like, "Oh, we're moments away." No, we are not moments away. Just shut up. Just moments away from the live show. Just moments away from the live show. Like um, also, they even talked about flowers. And Lego flowers, like this lady, she's like, how beautiful my country is. Like, uh, uh, to be honest, nobody cares about your country and how beautiful it is. I don't give a shit. Like, who cares if your country is beautiful or not, if it's full of flowers or not. And, you know, she's like designing Lego flowers. It's, it's it's like we don't really care about flowers. What are you talking about? Nobody cares about your country. Like, at least I don't care. Like, man. Also, uh, then we actually finally start off the actual live show. And we just, we, we start off with a shit ton of of <laughs> lies. J just check this out. Tons of entertainment, big reveals of brand new sets, box fresh n news stories. And then we start off with an, I, I call it an ad, because it was like a NASA astronaut interview with the LEGO designer interview, whatever. It was about space, nothing too crazy. All of the sets that they showed 
were already revealed, reviews are out, like, months ago, like, the shuttle they showed, that was, like, the main highlight, the astronaut interview, you can just go watch thousands of them, go, I don't know, not, whatever, just, just go on YouTube, you, you'll find thousands of astronaut interviews, nothing crazy there, and then we have one of the worst parts, to be honest, the dots wall, nobody gives a shit, I mean, it's a cool thing, but, like, they just did so many updates on it, and one thing in particular triggered me so much, that was, like, this lady, I forgot her name, showing the designs of people, like, nobody gives a shit, like, we don't care, like, why is it so necessary to show what someone submitted and what you like, nobody cares about your opinion, so, yeah, and then, Harry Potter, again, nothing new, nothing exciting, all of the sets were revealed, I think they did, like, a uh, interview with the designer, I didn't really care much, because I'm not a Harry Potter fan, but, the the race, it was, you know, okay, like, the building challenge, there was a few questions in between, and, like, it was a race to finish the build first, nobody really cares, just two LEGO designers <laughs> racing to see who can finish the LEGO set first, nobody really cares that much, like, I, I don't give a shit, bro, like, just... If it's, like, someone that the community loves and, like, maybe someone, a very popular film actor or whatever, that'd be a bit better. But they're just, like, two designers. Like, nobody really cares. Then we have the LEGO Masters, like, smashing whatever. Like, th that's kind of cool. I'm going to be honest. That was cool. It's, like, explosions of LEGO builds and stuff. Then they talk about the Lego house, and yeah, you can just go watch it on YouTube. I've, in fact, I've already watched videos breaking down the Lego house. There was nothing new there, but I get the point, you know, the entire event was at Lego house, so it does make sense to give, like, a quick tour and overview of the Lego house. So, um, yeah, it, it's okay to do that, like, um, then... The Lamborghini Sian car, super car life size, that's absolutely awesome, but like, you know, we've already seen it again, it's not exciting, nothing new, um, but yeah, the car was pretty cool, and to be fair, it's okay that they put it in the con, because like, something huge and a big achievement, the second life-sized car, even though it's not drivable, it's still amazing, then... I think they also talked about the Lego Ideas typewriter, um, another Ideas winner of like the sports thing. I, I, I literally forgot that even existed, but like I actually didn't even know it existed in the first place. But yeah, th that that thing is, is pretty cool. I actually love um, using that thing. I forgot what it's called, but like the real life thing. I love using it, I always play it with my cousin, it's a cool set, but like, I'm not getting it, and by the way, that's not the final design, that's just the fans, uh, design, like, it's not gonna be the exact same as the picture, then the recycling bottles into, like, Lego bricks, to like, not waste in, like, the environment or whatever, yeah, that that's a good decision, to be honest, I'm gonna be fair, then Minecraft, again, nothing new, nothing exciting, it's all already revealed LEGO sets, they're just talking about it, like, no one cares, this event was literally made for non-LEGO fans and 8-year-old kids, filled with cringe and old stuff, LEGO, like, you know, 9-year-olds probably don't know about new sets, but, like, they showed it all, and, you know, it's been already revealed, so it's pretty much for kids and casual fans who don't know much about LEGO, and they just did not give a shit about LEGO fans. The interview with the Minecraft Mojang thing was shit, it was boring, like, I was about to freaking sleep, like, it was so boring and cringy and so many awkward moments, not to mention the, the, the technical issues, like... Uh, yeah, like, 
20% was just technical issues. Pause. Future Alan here. I forgot to mention how fucking creepy this woman's smile is. I, I forgot her name, but her smile is just creepy. Like, And she's like always smiling. That exact smile is on for the entire interview and is just creepy. She's like endlessly looking into your soul. Creepily smiling at you like if she wants to eat you but like it's just nothing exciting like okay put these in but also put something that can make the actual lego fans proud and happy and excited show them something new okay it just is it's bad okay then we have the Friends interview. Honestly, I, I don't give a shit about Friends. I didn't even listen to that part. I think I went to the bathroom. So I don't even know what's going on. You can go watch the con. I think they even uploaded it on YouTube as I'm recording this. You can go watch it. Like, just the Friends part. Because if you want. Because the other parts we're going to talk about. And they're pretty shit. And you're going to regret watching them. Then we have Ninjago celebrating 10 years. Um... Really not new set reveals for Ninjago, but you know, like they talked about the new season and how they never went underwater for like a season. They went to space and stuff. So like for 10th anniversary, anniversary, they're going to go underwater. You know, they never went there, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Then we have the Mario advertisement. Like there's just so many advertisements in this event. Um, Like it literally says advertisement. <laughs> And then, the juicy part. The part that was the most disappointing. The Star Wars part. Now look, we did, we did, like, we did, you know, our expectations were too high. But, like, Lego, what Lego gave us. We were expecting Lego to, to give us and reveal something huge. We went way too crazy with it. But also, what LEGO gave us and revealed to us was way too bad and way too fucking garbage, bro. Like, our expectations were high. But, like, you know, LEGO gave us something that was so bad. Like, wow. Again, it was just for non-LEGO fans and 8-year-old kids. Because every LEGO fan has already seen the Cruiser... And they want the gunship or something like that. The Mandalorian Forge. We're going to talk about that in a second. Um, they just basically did nothing for actual Lego fans. They just didn't give a shit. Again, we've already seen the cruiser. We've even seen the interior, the figures. We've seen the Slave 1 literally in-hand pictures, HD images before the reveal. Like, I even took that picture and made a custom box art before they even revealed it. And they're like, ooh, Boba Fett's starship, that, that's that's insane. Wow, oh my god, spring loaded shooters, that's fucking insane, no way. Yeah, and then they show the Marauder thingy. Don't get me wrong, the sets are good, but like, why not reveal the gunship? It's been wanted... By the community for so long. You did a fan vote. You know. We all voted for the gunship. The excitement is beyond. And like. I get it. It might be early to reveal the gunship. But like. Dude. Reveal it for once. At least for once. Reveal a set earlier. Because this event is special. And deserves more. Especially the fact that it is the first LEGO con. Like, just reveal it for once. Like, it's not going to be the end of the world, okay? Even the Mandalorian forces, they only revealed Mandalorian sets. They said this is exciting for Mandalorian fans. They didn't even show us the Mandalorian forge. Now, I don't know how, like, said. Is it forge or whatever? They didn't show that. And... It's a Mandalorian set. It makes zero sense. As I said, they only revealed 
The Mandalorian said, you know, they said this is exciting for Star Wars Mandalorian fans. And they didn't even reveal a brand new, never seen before, like actually never seen before set. They said brand new, exciting, never seen before Star Wars exclusive set reveals. And we've already seen all of them. Wow, Lego. That's absolutely genius. Only the best is good enough. Now, guys, keep in mind, only the best is good enough. A truly never seen before set would be the Forge, or what, however you pronounce it, I don't know. And they just ignored that. Like, as I said, they probably don't give a shit anymore. Like, I, I completely lost hope. Like, it's just, it's just so bad. Then we have the game, which that the the translation is so bad. It's so cringe. My gosh, it's so cringe. Like, it's just I was I was getting goosebumps. It's so bad. Just, just roll the clip. My gosh, just roll the clip. From serious excitement to serious relaxation. <sighs> what is that? Lego what the fuck is that? And so from that cringy, cringy transition, they talk about the new game, which is like, I, I don't even know what to call it. It's just a game, you know, to relax and chill out. And by the way, if you can hear any sound, like loud sound behind me, um... They just started working on something. I don't know what it is. They're fixing something. And there's just a bunch of loud noises. Uh, I'm sorry if you can hear that. But anyway. Then the Technic race. Um, yeah, that, that wasn't very good either. Like, it, it was good. But, like, it was kind of enjoyable to be completely honest. But it was also... <clears throat> it was also kind of boring. It's just... Two slow trucks. But you know, it was enjoyable if I'm being honest. Like, at least for me, that part was enjoyable. And then the finale. <clears throat> you probably saw it in the intro. When they all dance. Um, That's the finale. And that was cringe as well. Let's be honest. There's at least a little bit percentage of cringeness. Cringiness, whatever. In that, okay? And then they say... They say what I fear. They talk about what the community fears now. They talked about my new dream demon. Like, the Legocon has become my dream demon. Like, it's a nightmare. And I can't go through another nightmare... And guess what? They're 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 doing another disaster. Um, yeah, it's just. Oh my gosh! Just roll the clip. From everyone here, thank you for being a part of LegoCon 2021. And here's to LegoCon 2022. Yeah. And here's to LegoCon 2022. Did 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 she just say to LegoCon 2022? Nah, 2022. You know, nah. It's gotta be a joke, right? It it can't be. It can't be true. No, I refuse to believe this. There's no way they're doing this again. I can't go through it again. No, this can't be real. Yeah! You know, in all ser seriousness, though, the con, the reason it was really bad was just everything there was just not exciting. It was all repetitive. Like, I mean, repetitive, I mean, the Minecraft sets were already re uh, revealed officially. And then they just repeated it and, you know, they showed all the already revealed Minecraft sets in the car. That's what I mean. That's really the reason. There was nothing new. There was nothing exciting, nothing 
really exclusive, not nothing that crazy in the con, and the the interviews were just boring. The interviews didn't have anything unique, any unique questions, anything like that. And it was just overall very boring, very awkward, full of cringe. As I said, Lego probably did not care and targeted this towards his. Because, to be honest, it's quite clear that it was made for kids after all. It was targeted toward kids. And I'm hoping the second con isn't like that. Although, I got my hopes up for this con and I'm not gonna do the same. If LegoCon is happening 2022, which it is happening, um, I'm not watching it. I'm just watching a video about it. Like, you are watching this right now, maybe. You haven't watched the con, you're watching this. I'd be doing that in the future because I'm not wasting another two hours of my time just on some bullshit. So, yeah, next con. I'll just watch someone's video explaining it so I don't have to watch it. And yeah, this video actually surprisingly took long. It took me literal hours to edit. So like, I'm not even kidding. It took me hours. The video was originally planned to be like 12 to 15 minutes. It's 21, I think 21 plus minutes. And it took me so long. If you drop a like, I would highly appreciate it. It would mean the world to me. If you enjoy my content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye.